hi guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are still doing well so today we're doing a review slash unboxing on the Borner W3000 be sure to go and check out our older videos go to give them a like go subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for similar content let's get into the unboxing so first of all if we have a look at the box you can see as I mentioned in previous Borner videos which you can go and check out each Borner pistol has a different color scheme on the box so this one you can see is a bit purplish with the W3000's image in the backdrop you can see the nice Borner branding here again and then if we have a look in front you can see the modeling we're doing the W3000 today and then we have a few warnings over here and at the back we have an image of the pistol again and some information I will give you later on right let's see what's inside the box right if we have a look what's inside the box first of all we are greeted with the owner manual as you can see it's basically in Russian so that's the reason for me doing these review videos to help you understand what is stated inside the owner manual then we have bubble wrap to protect the pistol against scratches and bumps and stuff and then we have this Borner W3000 first glances at this W3000 is it's looking really nice Right, if we have a look at the pistol itself and the design and all its features first of all the Borner branding here on the barrel which gives it a nice premium look to the pistol and then if we turn it around here's some warnings that it's not a toy and then if you have a nice closer look here at the, at the bottom you can see the F symbol which states that it is legal to shoot this pistol in every country then we have a unique serial code here on the grip then you can see the grip has a nice Borner logo here in the middle with the branding at the bottom it also has a nice grippy feeling to it it doesn't feel like it will slide out of your hand it also has an ergonomically designed uh, grip so it fits nicely into the palm of your hand like that then the barrel is made out of alloy metal and has a length of about 17 centimeters which gives the barrel a, a shot speed of about 380 to 400 feet per second and a muzzle energy of about 3 joule which is quite large for a CO2 pistol then the body itself is made out of polymer as I mentioned earlier and has a nice firm feeling to it it doesn't feel cheap at all or when I move it it doesn't creak or make sounds the hefty feature of the Borner W3000 is the safety switch which is located on the right hand side of the pistol so to put it in safety mode you just press the switch down and flip it forwards As you can see it's pointing towards the S now if I pull the trigger now there's no reaction from the pistol at all to put it back in firing mode just press it down again and then you flip it back to the F, some F side now there's a reaction from the pistol when I pull the trigger this pistol is replicated from the HKP30 it's a German make and has a weight of about 550 grams which is a nice weight and easy to control let's load the gas so a space is provided inside the grip for the CO2 gas so as you would have known this uh, pistol is powered by 12 gram CO2 canister so to make space you just slide the grip to the side and you'll see there's a space provided 
then you turn the screw out at the bottom and for this I'm going to use a used CO2 canister just to demonstrate you put it in with a slim side showing upwards and then you turn the screw at the bottom in so you'll feel the screw leveling with the canister and then obviously you're going to need to turn harder and then you're going to hear a hissing sound which states that the canister is pierced and the gas went into the pistol so obviously when you tighten it more you're going to hear a hissing sound but mine is pierced already and, and empty so it won't make a hissing sound so when you've done that your canister is inserted into your pistol and your pistol is loaded with gas and you can close your grip like that so if you have a closer look underneath the trigger guard you can see this is actually a button you can press and this is the mag eject button now if I press it the magazine comes out so as you can see the magazine is made out of alloy metal or aluminium and has a black finish to it this magazine can take up to 18 4.5 millimeter steel BBs at the time to insert them you slide this button to the bottom over here and it will click in there and it will stay in place when you turn your magazine around you'll see there's a space provided over there where you can throw your 4.5 millimeter steel BBs in until it fills up when it's filled just press this button to the front of here and the spring loaded button will shoot up again now the magazine is loaded and ready to shoot then you just insert it back to in, into the pistol now your pistol is loaded with CO2 gas and BB bullets and ready to shoot the pistol has a 20mm Picatinny rail here in front beneath the barrel where you can fit your laser sight or torch light feel free to go and check out my previous video which I did a review on the torch light and the laser light those are compatible with these CO2 guns feel free to go and check out that video and leave a like then if we have a look over here on top you can see the pistol comes equipped with a fixed sight they are made out of light absorbing straws which light up when exposed to light so it's much easier to use and quite effective okay so that was my unboxing and review on the Borner W3000 my opinion is it's a hefty little pistol to have and it's very easy to use so it's perfect for someone that just wants to begin shooting or someone who's at a more advanced level in the CO2 world. Like always, thank you for the, for the support on the channel. Feel free to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Like this video and stay tuned for more. Ciao.